What's up, everybody? Welcome back. First of all, I want to thank all of you who joined in for that giveaway we did the other night. That was super fun. I want to thank Brian from Hudson Star for making the trip out here and being so generous uh, to give away two mowers. Two mowers. That was pretty freaking awesome. So anyway, today I want to just kind of give you an idea of what's happening around here. It's nearing the end of August. Temperatures are changing. It's starting to get cooler at night. I still haven't fed the lawn, but I think we're getting about to be the time to do that. It's been a couple of months now. Um, and although it looks absolutely stellar right now, maybe we should throw the drone up in the air and take a look at everything that's going on around here and get a better idea, huh? Let's do it. All right, guys, so it's pretty plain to see that this thing is just pretty much on cruise control. The mower has been doing a tremendous job. The grass looks absolutely clean and beautiful. And, you know, I haven't had to do any follow-up herbicide applications since early in the spring. So this thing is really just, it's just, it's just doing great. So the couple of things I wanted to touch on about this, which I think are pretty interesting, are, are these two things. Now, I've had the mower running every day for a long time. I mean, every day. I wanted to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So it was running at about, uh, I had it from 8 a.m. Uh, until 10 p.m. at night. And it would just mows for like 45 minutes and then it goes and charges and then it mows for 45 minutes and it just kind of gets holding that way. So, um, I, you know, that was pretty cool. However, um, it, it actually caused uh, a little bit of a problem. The because of the way the mower is kind of working this area here, you can see the tracks right back here behind me, all through here, and they're all going in the same way like this, right? And then just over here, you can see a little bit more. They're all kind of going that direction. Well, what I was starting to notice is that the grass was growing down the hill, and it wasn't it wasn't mowing upright anymore. It's actually flattening the thing out because it kind of goes down into this pit and comes around and, and just does this weird little hourglass shape and it was just tracking it over and over and over again. So I decided I needed to adjust that. Um, about a week and a half ago, I changed it so it's only mowing now four days a week on the same time schedule, but it was allowing the grass to come up. And just in that time, and just in the last week, the grass has all stood back up. Uh, there's no noticeable blemishes in it, but when it takes a day off, and then it's cutting at this lowest height. It's You can really see it tracking through the grass. So that's kind of interesting. Now, the second thing I noticed, because there were two things I mentioned, the deer came back to the lawn. Now, well, why am I saying that? Well, a lot of the time they're kind of active at night and in the early morning. And on the days that the mower wasn't running, they were back in here eating. These actually good sized bucks were just kind of hanging out and chilling on the lawn, which I have not seen they're always around, but they have not come onto the lawn because that mower kind of keeps them off. So that's kind of cool. As you can see, the cut quality and the, and the way the turf looks, but that's, that's just one thing I wanted to point out. If you're running it every single day and you're cutting it really short, you might see the grass start to grow in, in a little bit of odd patterns. And, and maybe it's just because I have it going and going and going and going that it keeps going over the same spot. That's probably what it is. I just really didn't like that. So there is one only one downfall right now that I that I could say that is somewhat negative, but just adjusting the time, the time that it mows to a new uh, schedule fixed it. So that's not really a complaint, I guess, when you look at it that way. I don't know. There's some of my random bottles that are just laying around here and I'm not going to use that. No reason to. I'm not gonna use that. No reason to. Not gonna use that right now. No reason to. 
I'm thinking I'm probably gonna run 901 out here and um, you know that's our uh, green start product and have that be what hits the lawn for now and then as I come back within four four weeks I think I'm gonna nail it with the 2600. At this point in time, I don't really think it's necessary for me to show you doing another hose end application, so I'm not going to do that. But mark it as today. Today, I'm going to go ahead and put 901 out. I'm going to do it at 15 ounces per thousand square feet. I'm going to go ahead and hit this whole thing, spray it down, use my handy dandy one gallon sprayer I have, and just nail it. So that's what's going to be happening here. But I just wanted to give everybody an update on, on this whole thing. And then in closing, and speaking about, uh, you know, having Hudson out here, uh, Jimmy Lewis popped up. We actually went up to uh, play a little golf and I'm just gonna show this the fun that we had while we were out and about and uh, hope you enjoy it. So for those of you who don't know, this is Brian Hudson from Hudson Star Mowers. He just nutted a drive from up there, right up there, over the ravine Put it on the green. Oh, we probably hit that thing about 310 yards. So now, Jimmy Lewis hit a ball right there into the shit. And we got Brian Hudson for Eagle. Downhill putt. Looks like he's got a nine iron. I don't think that's gonna be right. <laughs> Let's see if he can convert. So that's gonna take off that way and it's gonna turn that way, right? Slightly. Give yourself about, send it about a foot to the left. I think that I think that might have been too much club. <laughs> too much hand. <laughs> Jimmy with the modified putter from 130. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he went too far. Jimmy, pin seeker from the sand. Oh, dick. That was a pretty darn good shot. Yes, it was. Flooded the whole way. So, Brian, what do you think when you see a green like this? I think it really needs to have a mower that really can take care of it for uh, this tricky ground, tricky turf, uh, with one individual, 20 minutes, 25 minutes a day, you're done, right? Right. But you don't want to spend twenty thousand dollars. No. You spend three, keep it for years. Hudson Star. Hudson Star. 